They're going to be kind of a, kind of surprise uh, when we're looking at the national cloud coverage on average in you know mid April. Mm -hmm. West Texas in our neck of the woods lower than a lot of like the, the Great Lakes region, yeah. for example. They get a lot more clouds over there. And Texas, I think, is going to be a highly visited state on mm. uh, April 8th. A lot of places under totality. If you're in the coastal bend, you're going to have to drive north to be under the total eclipse. Closest city, Big Wells, Batesville, Uvalde, San Antonio. That's where you're going to have to go to be under totality. If you're staying in town, April 8th. It's going to be similar to the annular solar eclipse last year. About 97, 98% of the sun was covered for that one. That was the ring of fire. Moon didn't completely cover it, even though we were in the central part of that eclipse. This time around, about 94% of the sun will be covered, and it'll be kind of uh, off center. So we'll have a little sliver of sunlight, meaning it's not going to get totally dark here. It will be similar to the eclipse back in October and yes, you will need special eclipse glasses if you're going to be trying to look right at that eclipse, which I recommend get the glasses. Look at it. The only thing we got to worry about now is the cloud forecast and we will be doing a lot of cloud forecasting uh, heading into next week as we start to get closer to April the 8th 78 right now southeast wind 25 miles per hour a lot more clouds moving in from the west high pressure to our east and the system that will eventually drop the cold front that was fist pumping about earlier that is over kind of west of California still in the Pacific Ocean that system is going to take its time getting here for the weekend breezy warm and humid some gusts up over 30 miles per hour at time on Saturday Sunday kind of similar I think a few more clouds overhead on Sunday and then early next week Monday is going to be hot I think we make a run at 90 degrees on Monday It'll be windier again. Some winds up around 40 miles per hour. Then our cold front comes in drier air. Tuesday still going to be warm, but it's going to feel a lot better with mid 80s and lower humidity filtering in behind that front. And then it won't be till Wednesday, Thursday uh, that we get into the cooler stuff. Sweater weather returns Tuesday night, Wednesday morning and again Wednesday night, Thursday morning mid to low 50s there and highs in the middle to upper 70s. Humidity also takes a dive behind this front. It'll be dry if not comfortable through the middle of next week. So uh, it's looking good behind the front. It's going to be a bit humid though for the weekend and Monday tonight. 64 some passing clouds, a steady breeze from the southeast 10 to 17 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. 83 under a blend of sun and clouds breezy, warm and humid and on the water. If you're going to be out there a little bit choppy, not as bad as today. Small craft still need to be using caution. If you're going to be out uh, on area waters, Easter mid 80s breezy uh, and humid and there's that 90 degree day on Monday ahead of our cold front Tuesday and Tuesday decent day, a little breezy humidity levels will be going down with some, some maybe three in a row Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. Sunny delights that Ooh, that's a good yes. looking week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Beautiful good. first week of April. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? It is this Sorry. year. Yeah. April fools over there. We're going to have to come after you. I won't oh, be yeah. in, I won't be in on Monday. All okay, right. that eliminates like at least April like fools. half of these shenanigans no, in the okay. newsroom. <laughs> Alan, thank you so much. Still to come here on 3 News at 5.